Well, hello. Welcome back to the Treehouse. Tonight I want to tell you about the all-powerful orange cone principle and the golden key. Now this all started, I learned this, it's all-powerful, it's life-changing, and it's a psychological principle. And I learned it at all places at the Skip Barber Racing School's Car Control Clinic. Now Skip Barber Racing School teaches this three-day intensive car control clinic. Not about racing cars, but about controlling your car, your vehicle. And my son and I went, we each brought a friend, and the three-day weekend was held uh, at Laguna Seca Raceway, the famous Laguna Seca Raceway in Monterey, California, nor Northern California. Now, here on the third day, it really was a lot of work, a lot of effort, but well worth it. We were exhausted after the third day. But on the third day, in the morning, each of us is in a big red Dodge Ram pickup truck with four bald tires. And I'm behind the wheel, and they're all in their trucks, and I'm behind the wheel, and my instructor sitting here, he said, okay, let's go over here. We're going to the skid pad. So we pull up to the skid pad. Now the skid pad is a giant parking lot, like Walmart, and it's slick asphalt, and it's slightly off grade, and water's running down it. So now you're seeing where we're going with this. Slick asphalt, water, and four ball tires. And then way across at the other side of this parking lot is an orange traffic cone, just like you see everywhere. So the instructor, we pull up to the edge. He said, okay, here's the assignment. Direct your truck toward the orange cone. Accelerate to 40 miles an hour. Put the truck in a spin, recover from the spin, and don't hit the orange cone. So you think, well, that's simple enough. Look at this gigantic parking lot. That little orange cone way out in the distance is so small, and just one orange cone. This will be simple. So you accelerate to 40 miles an hour. And the way you put it in a spin is you make a hard left turn or a hard right turn, hit your brake, and the truck will start spinning. And then, after a few revolutions, you recover from the spin, which they say all out, meaning both feet out and both hands out. In other words, no brake, no clutch, no accelerator, no steering, all out. The, the truck will stabilize, and then you can take, you take control of it again. So that's what I did. I put it in a spin, I recovered from the spin, and I nailed the cone. I was embarrassed. So I, wait, let me do it again. So, okay. So we go back, and we do it all, repeat it. I nailed the cone. On the third time, I was embarrassed and frustrated, and I remember hitting the steering wheel. I said, what am I doing wrong? And he said, you want to know what you're doing wrong? I said, please. He said, you're looking at the orange cone. And then I thought, and I said, I actually said this. Well, yeah, I'm looking at the orange cone because I don't want to hit it. And then I realized he just told me that's why I'm hitting it, because I'm staring at the orange cone, trying to avoid it. So I said, well, where do I look? He said, wherever you want the truck to go. And I said, well, where do I want it to go? He says, you're the driver. <laughs> See all the psychological lessons in this? Man, light bulbs were going up. So I said, okay, I'm going to put the truck to the left of that orange cone. He said, okay, let's do it. We go back. I nail the orange cone some more. So as I'm practicing over and over, I actually... The wrong action of staring at the orange cone is ingrained in us. We think it's the right thing to do, but it's exactly the wrong thing to do. It's counterintuitive, and we have to relearn the right thing to do, which is to look where you want to go. So I actually had to push my face, my head, 
to make my eyes go to the left of the orange cone where I wanted the truck to go. And slowly, you know, closer, I could move that truck anywhere to the left I wanted it to go. It took a while. Then I said, okay, let's put it on the right side of the orange cone. And I was doing this. And then I learned to put it on the right side, any distance I wanted after practice. And then it starts to, you know, you start to, get, you get in the groove with this. And then I could stop the truck just before the orange cone. I could stop the truck beyond the orange cone. And before the day was over, but a lot of trial and error, I could, I had that truck dancing all around that orange cone. It was a beautiful thing. And people had no clue how difficult that is because you're going against your own common sense. You're going against your own nature. You have to learn the right action to take. Now, in the real world, this is psychological. This is how our life works. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, hitch your wagon to a star. Hitch your wagon to a star. This is what he meant. Don't be looking at all the problems around here. You know, he didn't know about orange cones. Don't be staring at orange cones. Hitch your wagon to a star. And another visual of this that's great to look at, Google it, Daniel in the lion's den, the story from the Bible. Here's Daniel. and pull, It'll pull up all kinds of famous paintings. Daniel is in the lion's den with these ferocious lions all around him. And rather than standing there quivering and scared to death and staring at him, he's looking up and out. And just look at the expression on his face. It's confident. And here he is standing in the midst of these lions. That's the principle we're talking about. Now, the best... The best uh, instructions I've seen on this orange cone principle and how to you know push your face in in life it's called the golden key by Emmett Fox E M M E T F O X the golden key by Emmett Fox and you can google it and you'll find a PDF of it pull it up it's six short little pages and he says in there I have summarized the gist of, of spirituality in as few pages as possible. Six little pages. He said, if I could have summed it up in six lines, I would have done that. But I did it in these six little pages. And they are brilliant. They are simple. They are effective. And you need to see this and do this. Now, I'm also going to put a link to a narration of the Golden Key by Emmett Fox that I found by a gal on YouTube called Heather Noel. And I'll put a link to her video. I don't know her. I know nothing about her. It's just she does, does a real nice job of reading this Golden Key. And, you know, if you're going to lie down and take a nap or you're going to sleep at night, put this on and go to sleep hearing this. It's wonderful. The Golden Key by Emmett Fox. And another, uh, I'm going to mention this now, uh, there is a great movie called The Edge by and Anthony, Hops, Anthony Hopkins stars in it, The Edge, with Anthony Hopkins. And he's a billionaire, but he's, you'll love his mind and the way he thinks and the way he keeps his composure. And he and his party are... Uh, crash land in the Alaskan wilderness and the rest of them are freaking out thinking they're, they're gonna die they're gonna perish you're gonna eat get eaten by a bear in the woods and he said if you know where not to go you're not lost all the others thought they were lost in the wilderness in Alaska and they were doomed but he said they they did know one direction not to go and he said if you know where not to go you're not lost. Well, the, we know where not to go, the orange cone, therefore we're not lost. And it, it all ties together here. Now, as far as investing, here's a couple of great examples. Legendary investor Sir John Templeton, whom I got to the honor of meeting and sitting with him for an hour and five minutes at his office in Nassau in the Bahamas, 
here he is, legendary investor. He was a billionaire when that meant something, when there <laughs> weren't many billionaires. And Sir John Templeton wrote 35 spiritual books. Not financial books, but spiritual books. And in an article, in an interview in Forbes magazine, he said, most investors lose money trying to avoid losses. Now you know why. They're looking at the orange cone. They're running, they're driven by fear not by where they want to go and he also said in that article the more you study spirituality the better investor you will be now another uh, legendary investor Warren Buffett Templeton and Warren Buffett both described themselves as counterintuitive investors the, the innate, it, it's not innate in us. We have to learn it, and it's counterintuitive. And that's what the golden key will teach you. How to not look at the orange cone, but how to look at where you want to go. So sex, successful investing, just like success in any area of your life, including skillful driving, is counterintuitive. But now you know this, and you know what to do about it. And in the next video, I'll post right here, is an interview that I did that describes practical applications of this orange cone principle that lead to success in any and every area of your life. And I will entitle that, Steps of Faith That Make Any Dream Come True. So, stay tuned. And with that, thanks for joining me, Onward and Upward.